Alright, good morning, good evening, good night. Welcome back to another Inukiba Let's Play. As always, I'm Inukiba, and today we are back on Beetleback Farm in our modded starry playthrough. Olivia is sitting here. Um, kind of weirdly, look at how she's kicking that leg out. Kind of weird. Um, I think today the plan was. Um, this is all, by the way, still the same day of that initial recording session. Um, but just later on, like I had mentioned before, I'm periodically going out and checking on, um, the, the food that I'm preparing and such. Um, so, today we want to make a bunch of money quick. Best way I know to do that would be to go foraging, um, because we can't rely on crops, obviously. Uh, now I do not think I didn't leave the game paused. <laughs> Oopsies. Uh, I was like, it's getting dark out. I was like, is there a cloudy day? Um, I didn't pause the game. I just sat in the chair. Uh, well, that, tell you what, we're going to restart that day, give it a second to catch up. That having a wasted day early on in the game, that's kind of, kind of shitty. Olivia. <sighs> yeah, having a wasted day like that early on in the game, it's kind of shitty. We didn't get to accomplish anything that day. So we'll just reset it. Now, of course, it will take a hot minute. Because modded. Um, but yeah, so I think the plan would be to go foraging. Um... Maybe fishing. I guess fishing is the most reliable source of income. Especially early game. Um, so maybe we'll do a bit of both. Maybe we'll take the fishing rod out to Cinderset Forest, but the extended forest, and see what we can do there. If this will even fucking load, Jesus Christ. Um, oh, there it goes. I was going to say, let me... Uh, let me pause it until it gets back, but it's back. All right. Now we can actually make progress through the day. I can't believe I did that. I mean, I can believe I did that, honestly. So we will go ahead and we'll take, uh, trial by fire. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take this out to the forest with us, do what we can to get a bunch of fit, forageables and fish. What's in this trough? 
weird. Probably go grab spring onions because I'm sure they're over there right now, but can't be bothered. Give me that daffodil. Give me that mushroom. grass, but I don't want to, because it would take so long. It's like, I want to get rid of it, but I don't want to do the work to do it. If I was a more avid fisher uh, in this game, god damn, see I fucking, oh no, I actually got it there. Um, the fish alert noise would be a perfect fucking ringtone. Just hitting the edge of that bubble. Sorry, I'm focusing pretty hard. <laughs> Perfects give you a lot more XP, so I kind of want to try to get as many of those as I can. See, that wasn't close enough. Do I recast? Oh, you know what I can do? <laughs> and they're gone. What's over here? Oh, is it not actually, like... It doesn't actually exist. Oh wait, it might have. I was on the wrong tool. Let's see if there's any bubble spots. There is not. So we'll just go ahead and recast. Jumping into the water scared away all the fish. Fair enough. I don't know how to make this part more interesting. Because I don't necessarily have anything to talk about. 
Um, but the gameplay is obviously not the most engaging at this point, because it's just fishing, so. I'm curious if any other people have, like, like, the, the, the fishing community for Stardew is, like, split down the middle. There's, like, people who fucking hate it and think it's way too hard and shouldn't be in the game to the point where they mod it out, or there's the people who are like, it's perfectly fine and not that hard and enjoy it. Um, at, I would say I was previously in the previous camp. Like, I was on the, it's too hard and I fucking hate it and it shouldn't be in the game. Um, I was, I was on that camp before, um, but like I said, I've gotten a lot more used to the fishing. Uh, I kind of just forced myself into it um, to try to like get better at it, and I, I would say I have gotten better at it. Like I would never have been able to catch that fish uh, before, um, but I'm still nowhere near good at it because obviously I missed that one, uh, fish just before that. Um, I would say I'm in the middle of the road, honestly, though. Like, I don't love the fishing in this game, but I totally understand why people like it. And once you're used to the fishing mechanic, it's not that hard. Um, I say as I miss a fish. Uh, it was acting funny, though. So it's like, I, I would say I'm not in either camp right now. I wonder if there's anybody else who's just like used to hate it and now we're okay with it I'm telling you what I'm starting to hate it little and little every fish I miss though every fish you miss come on Let it be chill. Okay, hopefully these large mouth passes I'm catching will uh, be worth a bit. 4 p.m. We gotta think about heading home soon. I'd like to. Get, oh yeah, we're almost level two fishing. I'd like to finish that off before we head home. Catch one more fish. Be nice if we could reach level three, but I doubt it. I'd have to get a bunch of perfect, uh, perfect catches. could start heading back towards the house and fishing at the lake so we don't have to go as far if it does get late. I think we'll do that. This will be the last cast and then we'll move to the, to the lake closer to the house. Because it's not like there's any special fish out here. Come on, behave. Why are you moving around so much? I hate, I hate it, I hate it. Fishing in this game sucks. It is, it is unnecessarily hard sometimes. It's just like there's no reason for you to move around that much. Ooh, four leaf clover. Oh, it's a sword. 
Sure, why not? I'll take it. Sorry, I go quiet so often. Um, my brain just starts wandering, and usually, if I uh, don't have anything specific to talk about, my brain will just kind of default with whatever music or whatever stuck in my head. And I try not to do that because one. Um, I'm sure that's annoying, and two, I don't want to, for whatever reason, be potentially got for copyright of any sort. <laughs> um, it took three hours to walk out of that forest. Jesus Christ. cicadas. Why would cicadas be... I guess that could be crickets. It sounds like cicadas though. Cicadas wouldn't be out in spring. They'd be out in summer. I love cicadas. I think they're so cool. Um, so let's go ahead and just sell all but one of these. Sell one of those. Um, I don't know what to do with all this shit. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell pretty much everything in my inventory here. Like, I'm sure I'll need all of this later. Said to bring good luck. Thanks for a nice gift. Maybe I'll hold on to that. Like, I know I'll need a large amount, but I'm pretty sure they're relatively easy to catch year-round. Hold on to it for now. Uh you make a bigger chest. Um or another chest. We'll go ahead and call that day there. Level two fishing. Got a recipe for bait. Which means that we should be able to buy the fiberglass rod, right? Am I right in that? Because why would you be able to craft bait if you weren't able to use it? Give me that posh nip. Posh nip. the music in this game. I do wish I could be listening to some lo-fi right now though. But if I was listening to lo-fi I would probably be even more silent than I am currently. So I guess that's sort of a blessing in disguise. 
or the opposite of a blessing, because <laughs> for all I know, you guys hate uh, when I just talk and ramble. Which I totally understand, because honestly, same. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, get a little bit of organization going on here. We did make enough, so let's go ahead and go upgrade our tool. Pickaxe or axe? I think I think axe is the smarter choice, honestly. I'd love to do the watering can or the hoe, but well, I guess I could do the hoe. But the hoe's more of a. The watering can be nice, but I can't confirm it won't rain tomorrow. I don't think there's any festival going on. We'll do the axe. We'll do the axe. We will stop by the bundle and drop that off. Actually, you know what? Where's the dog? Lizard. <laughs> Hey, Neb. We're going into town today. I want to take you with me. It's like, everybody in town is just like, oh no, the weird bug lady bringing her fucking lizard into town today. Hi. The fuck did you come from? So we got time, so let's go up to the bundle first. Let's go ahead and deposit what we can of this so we can uh, open up the other ones and see kind of what we're working with as far as the remixes go. Oh, hi Gus. What are you doing over here? Hi there, Olivia. The kegs are in good shape. Stardew Saloon, next batch of drinks are almost ready. Alright. Hi, Michael. I'm tall for my kind, you know? Surprisingly mobile. Neb is waiting outside for you. Good boy. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, we don't need that. Bundle complete. Bundle completed. Oh, hell yeah. Alright. Unlock some more. Spring crops, same as always. Flowers, we can definitely do that, but we're gonna have to buy those here shortly. Um, okay, brewer, okay, you can handle that. Fall crops, summer crops, quality crops. Oh, shit, what the fuck? This is not what it's normally, so we need, whew, we need five gold star potatoes. And a green bean and cauliflower. Okay. 
Um, okay. We should have time to do all of that. River fish, quality fish, crab pot, ocean, lake, and night. Okay. Is there anything unique here? Is this all just normal? Okay. Well, let's get to it. Come on, let's get to it. I know that we can do it. try that tomorrow so we need to keep 2,000 on us so we do need a bean we do need a cauliflower these are 50 so fuck I fucked up Okay. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, we also need seven days, six days. Those are the only two we can get during this season that are like for that pack. Yeah, might as well. starter would be nice because we could get flowers going that would last pretty much year round I think that they would work with the beehives but I'm not entirely sure Pierre, you swindled us again. Hey, Caroline. Hmm, should I wear something special to the aerobics meetup today? Oh, it is aerobics meetup today. What would you wear special? Like, who are you trying to impress? <laughs> Your husband? I don't think so. Exercise is important for staying healthy. It always makes sure to set aside some time for it. I work part time at Gus's saloon. It pays the bills. Uh, hi there, Willie. Ahoy! You know, sardines. You sold me the other day while well, I sizzled it up in a cabin last night. Uh, it was the mealiest fish I'd ever seen set me gums on. I apologize. <laughs> my my accent work really is atrocious. Uh, hi, Penny. I'll say hi to you in a moment. Do, 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 boom, boom. A uh, shop. What do you got for sale? Oh yeah, you sell fucking coal seeds, which would be nice. Um, let's upgrade tools though. I want to get a patched axe. Yes. All right. You do that. Come on, Neb. Hi, Penny. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. You're such a sweet young girl. <laughs> like, you're so cute. Hi, Sam. Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. Uh, take it easy. I imagine her with this art to have a voice very similar to Yang. 
Um, what should I do with the rest of the d day? I could go to the mines and try to get the copper for Clint. that fossil I just found. Is that a donatable? Yeah. Hello, Elaine. A great idea can pass through your head when you least expect it. But if your mind is too busy, you won't miss it. Well, I really must get back to my work. Uh, you like shells, right? Like, you like shellfish. You do? Okay. Bloop. Bloop. Alright, alright. Alright. Okie dokie. Yeah, there's a lot of shit over here. Hell yeah. You shouldn't be over there because it's, uh, you're only over there because it's modded and you're breaking the rules and the pace of the game. Fuck off. It's all right, Neb. We're gonna fish a little bit. At uh, four, we'll call the fishing and head to the museum to donate the stuff we've collected. And then anything else we collect on the way, we'll drop off at the center and then call it for the day. Should be technically a pro productive day if a boring one for you guys. I'm having fun. Uh, but I can't imagine watching me sit and fish all day or whatever. This is going to be a boring episode and I'm very aware of that. Perfect. A herring. Oh wow, look at my foraging. Foraging is like right on the cusp of leveling. Right, this will be the last fish. Come on, Neb. Hello, Sam. Goodbye, Penny. Cauliflower seeds? Yes! Okay. <laughs> uh... Oh, hi, Victor. What are you doing over here? Ugh, I need to go to Pierre's for grocery soon. I don't know why my mother doesn't just hire a butler already. Hey, are you thinking about a part time job? Oh, that was rude, wasn't it? Apologize, Olivia. Or apologies, Olivia. <laughs> apologize for my rudeness. <laughs> apologies, Olivia. I lost my composure. Uh, 
I mean, I wasn't that rude, if I'm honest. I would have taken it as a bit of a jest. Have you met my... Maru. You can't gaslight me. Okay. You can't. I don't know what game you're playing, but it ain't gonna work. Why am I so fucking huge compared to all the other villagers? Look how much taller I am than Maru. Jesus Christ. Ridiculous. We ridiculous. If we get lucky with a crab, we might not have to do any crab putt fishing, because I know we can get cock cockles on the beach. Uh, periwinkles maybe, I'm not sure about that, but we can definitely get the crab by just mining and shit. Um, is there anything else I have? No, okay. So we're out of money, but we do have our pickaxe being upgraded. And we've got a bunch of seeds. Unfortunately, as far as like the whole like bug keeper theme of this playthrough um, that I would like to really dive into requires me to get a bunch of cash first. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll just have to uh, work with what we got here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and plant this shit today. The quicker it grows, the better. Um, I don't think I can make fertilizer yet. No. Uh, cauliflower. Potatoes. Spot with a miscellaneous seed. Yeah, we'll put that away. Pick up the watering can. Get tired. Go to bed, Nib. You don't have to follow me anymore. Here. <laughs> Just immediately curled up. Uh, let's also move you to here. I think that'll cover everything better. I'm gonna hold on to the sea urchin. I want to hold on to the coral too, but coral I know comes up quite often. That sea urchin for a dive bundle, if it if we get it. Um, this is spring forageable, so okay, we've got one parsnip and one potato already. So we just need a bean and a cauliflower for sure, which are growing. Move to the other chest. Alright. 
that is another successful day. Um, and it would seem another episode. Uh, we made a little bit of our money back. We're not gonna starve. Actually, you don't need to eat. I did find a mod that was to do that, but I do that sometimes in Skyrim. But Skyrim doesn't really have like a, a, an energy system like this does, so I think the energy system is taxing enough on your character's actions throughout the day. I'm not gonna force myself to eat and shit. Um, what with that, I will go ahead and see you guys in another episode. Um, ooh, looks like our little pink flowers are done. Okay, we'll get 500 bucks when we we'll wake up. I'm gonna end right after this, so. Uh, yeah, I will see you all later. Thank you guys for watching, and... Uh, bye bye